Hi, Firsties. Welcome back. Mrs. Elkins has a new book to share with you. It's called Creepy Pair of Underwear. And it's written by Aaron Reynolds. The pictures are by Peter Brown. Let's go ahead and get started now. Creepy Pair of Underwear. And inside, of course, is the title page, Creepy Pair of Underwear. Jasper Rabbit, well, he needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store. And she grabbed the last three packages of plain white underwear. But as they headed for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. What do you think he spotted? All those white underwear. What do you think it could be? Hmm. Let's see. Creepy underwear! So creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. Uh, I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy. They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. So Mom agreed to buy one pair. So he's saying he's grown up now. These are not too creepy for him. I don't know about you. They look a little too creepy for me. They look like Frankenstein underwear. <laughs> but he likes them. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. That night Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on? Asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. So his dad shut the door. And that's when Jasper noticed. Wow, he does look like a big rabbit now. He's not even scared of the dark. Wow. The underwear, they glowed. A ghoulish, greenish glow. Ooh, do you see that? They glow in the dark. Oh my gosh, you see it? Those are so cool, right? He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow, but it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. So Jasper, he leaped out of his bed and put on a pair of plain white. And he stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper. That's a good plan. And then he finally fell asleep. Do you see that? Now he can sleep. He's not scared anymore. Those underwear were a little too creepy, right? I agree. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Can you believe it? So Jasper threw them into the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared of anything. But he was done with those scary underwear. I don't blame him. That's a good plan, right? Throw them in the trash. Goodbye, underwear. Those are too scary. Well, after school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. There was this scratchy, scraping sound like this. It was coming from his dresser. So he opened the drawer. And they were back! Staring at him with that ghoulish greenish glow that's creepy right guys how did they get back from the trash well he snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer and he grabbed the big envelope and some stamps look at all those stamps one two three four five six seven eight nine stamps two ch China to China. What a leader, right? Way to make a plan. Send him all the way to China. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. Bye. What a leader, right? That'll get rid of those creepy underwear. Well, when he opened the front door the next morning, there they were. And were those 
chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China. And they had brought back some souvenirs. They brought a fan, a tassel, panda bear, chopsticks. I'd be scared too. How did they get all the way back from China? Well, Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. This time, the creepy underwear were gone for good. Cut them into little pieces, right? At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. There was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. Life is finally better, right? He can relax now. This is good news for Jasper. Oh my gosh, they were back! What's the matter with you, his mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his own underpants, could he? I think he should tell his mom the truth. What do you think? Should he just tell her? Usually moms are pretty understanding, right? That might be the best plan. But not Jasper, right? He wants to always figure it out himself. So he seized the underwear and he snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. Wow. He's brave, right? I think he's really brave to do all this, to try to get rid of those creepy underwear. Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom, that ghoulish greenish glow, but not for long. Look at that. Yay, look at Jasper. How does he feel now? Right, he was so worried and now he's so happy. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in, nothing, just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. What do you see when he turned out the light? Huh? It's finally dark, right? Do you think Jasper will be able to sleep now and not be so afraid? I hope so. There was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Oh, yeah, I don't like it so dark myself. So Jasper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glowy pair of plain underwear, and he knew what he had to do. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. Oh, I love that. Right? Now he needs it. Now he's not afraid of his underwear. It's funny how we grow up and we change, right? Things that used to be scary sometimes get less scary as we get bigger. Well, the next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled, and so did his underwear, because they had finally found someone, somebody, who wasn't scared. of creepy underwear. Oh, that's so nice, right? It's kind of funny to think that some things are scary to us, but maybe they don't like to be thought of as scary. Okay, let's go ahead and get our read and respond notebook. It's going to be time to respond to literature. Hopefully you were a leader and already had it out because we do it every day. 
open it to your sticky note to your next open page. And if you don't have it, pause the video, and then when you're done, restart play again to be ready. We're going to talk about something that is scary to us. It doesn't have to be something is real. Maybe it's imaginary. Or maybe you're just afraid of doing poorly or getting in trouble. But what is something that you are afraid of? Okay, so we're going to begin it with a capital letter. And it's I, a capital I, because we're talking about ourself. And it's the beginning of a sentence. And then a space, am, ah, ah, am. And I'm just going to say a little afraid. Doesn't mean a lot. Just a little. Okay. Space. I am a. And then I'm going to go down to the next line. I am a little. Little. I am a little afraid. Oops, and my marker is going out. Let me get a better one. I am a little afraid. Afraid. I am a little afraid of blank. Period. What is something you're a little afraid of? Okay, so copy the sentence and finish it. And then, of course, you have to do a picture. I can't wait to see what you're a little afraid of. I'm going to do what I'm a little afraid of now. Pause the video, write your sentence, and when you're done, come back. Okay, I finished mine now. And let's see if you can guess if pictures tell as much as words what Mrs. Elkins is a, a little afraid of. Just a little, okay? I am a little afraid of the dark. And remember, spelling doesn't count. Just do your best. The picture will tell us what it says. Go ahead and go finish. Do your best. Make sure you write your complete sentence and color it in and have it ready to share in the morning. Bye, first grade leaders.